right? Everybody grab a toilet seat and sit down. You see, I'm about to open up a big ol' can of worms with fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Some of you are probably gonna understand, but everybody else, you, are gonna be pissed right off. But that's okay, because somebody's gotta say it. Hang on here, just give me a second. These idiots just don't care. There, you heard me. They don't care. A headache. A mysterious illness. Really, this is this is the best you could come up with. William Nylander played 82 games during the regular season. 80 two games. Austin Matthews played 81, and now all of a sudden, when the real war begins, it's headaches and tummy aches. Come on, what a, what a joke, man. What an absolute joke. Can you imagine being a part of this team and seeing pretty much half of your salary cap being tied up into a bunch of babies? Look, let me tell you a little story. A couple of years back, I watched Pa Barr, Shea Weber, and Carey Price literally sacrificed their bodies trying to bring a Stanley Cup to Montreal. Do you know how many guys had broken bones during Florida's run last year? Four. Four players, including Kachuk, who was playing with a broken sternum for God's sake. TJ Oshie just played game four a couple of days ago with a broken hand. But Matthews, no, 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 no. He might not be available for game five because shh, he's got a little bit of a tummy ache. Oh, it's, it's a real, real bad one. All right, I, I can't help it. I, I can't even control myself right now. Maybe, yeah, may, maybe I'm just being a dick. But still, man, I, I can't believe how easily these guys are pushed over during the playoffs. Even if he's puking and he's got, he's got the shits and stuff. You don't walk out on your team, man. I don't care if he's got to put a bucket next to the bench and sit on it every time he's not on the ice. Come on, we've all done it. Look at Tyler Bertuzzi, for example. I can almost guarantee you this guy right here is shitting in a bucket every day, okay? You are not gonna find the toilet at his house. And again, I'm fully aware, it's all speculation. Nobody really knows the details right now. Nobody really knows what's going on, but Sheldon Keefe did confirm it's an illness. Which, let's face it, Kanye tells a story of its own about the players that are supposed to be leading the team in Toronto, okay? I mean, who else wasn't even shocked when Nylander missed the first few games, when Austin missed the final 20 minutes of game four? You know what it is? It's embarrassing. I don't care if they pulled him because he did play the first two periods and there's players in the league that would have to be dragged by their arms and legs, man, from the bench if they were in a position like that. You could go ahead and score 69 goals during the regular season. You can get very close to 100 points. You can buy every Justin Bieber CD on the market, okay? But at the end of the day, or end of the season, if you will, good players are supposed to battle during the playoffs. They're supposed to elevate their game to this whole new level. And in Toronto, no, it just doesn't work like that, does it? But game five is tonight. Am I going to be watching it? Yo, oh, you better believe it, man. I'm going to be watching this one like a seagull at McDonald's. Well, the Toronto Maple Leafs actually come out and play, or well, the Boston Bruins put them out in five games. Personally, I just, I don't think the Leafs have the balls to bounce back and win this series. I mean, go ahead, try and prove me wrong. I don't see it happening, but you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Please don't forget to dropkick that like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.